In any game of Magic, you have to know if you're the aggressor or you're playing the defensive side of things. You have to know if you're on the beatdown, you need to swing in and tap out. And that's very important. And when it comes to playing Affinity in Modern as well, sometimes the decision is just made for you because you can't beat the classics. Joy, I'm a... <laughs> I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna try it. This is a greedy one. This is a greedy one, I will say. But we're gonna start off with the drum, not the might. Because if the might gets like bolted, this this goes south. Or like if it gets removed, it goes south. But I can just play a frog, but yeah, so I'm gonna be able to play might, spring leaf, create mana, play frog might. My might just dropped like 60 million centimeters. So there you go. Let's bring that back up. Preordain. So we're likely up against Merc Tide. Our opponent did what here? One top, one bottom. Okay. Sounds good. Plating's cool. So we're going to go Might. Cancel. Doesn't really matter. Play that. Use that. Okay. We're getting close. We got four artifacts out so next turn i can play beanstalk like look i'm telling you once i'm casting spells if beanstalk resolves i'm in a good spot i think it will that's fine that's fine that's fine double bolts on my creatures that is unfortunate it the play is good though i will give it to them the play is good because i just have to play this out and do nothing on my turn i can't even play stock mm. double bolt was smart though a little bit of control feed your graveyard a bit dash drag event counter spell up mm. expressive you can't even play a land this turn okay put a counter spell to the yard I, I i you know what i don't blame them i probably power up so much stuff that they don't necessarily care. I would like a green source, though. Mm, even a creature helps. Honestly, a frog might is probably pretty Gucci here. I wouldn't mind that. Uh, Bolt enters exile, though. Interesting. Um, I mean, yeah. It's got to be thought cast. Ornithopter. One, two, three, four, five, six. No, wait. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Hold up the counter spell. Like, make them think I have it. Like, they don't know if I'm. Be they don't know if I'm red. They don't know if I'm. You know, beanstalk. I don't know what's really going on here. Okay, they got a Merc Tide coming down, probably with Counterspell backup. That's where things get a little dangerous. Why is this not at a full eight? Like, why? wait, why didn't you just swing first? I don't really understand what's going on, but okay. Like, sure, I guess. Uh, green this for beanstalk. Yep. So we're going to be, we're going to be drawing some cards. I will say that. Um, I'm going to leave this up in the air. So thought monitor. Yeah. Costs two. So I'll, I'll take frog might. That's going through, eh? interesting okay um so i i left the ornithopter up in the air in case it's got uh this got countered um probably just gonna chump truly they'll redraw so they have like zero interaction um and if they swing in i don't know if they can really afford to just let me swing in with cranial plating i don't i don't know if they can they might but i'm more than happy to just chump here uh, I might actually not. I'm, I think I'm fine to take seven. Three of their bolts are gone. So it's just like 
like i don't know most of what i'm playing on board like kind of lives so companion is great here uh yeah so we just play out our stuff play that play the companion like i'm gonna just i'm gonna just amass a bunch of artifacts like truly because i think like getting double black is important here right like uh so like a creature that this is insane <laughs> i think it's better to actually play the thought monitor now that i think about it because if i draw another beanstalk i can combo it with that but this sort of things go insane opponent yeah interact now truly just interact now that's fine uh go to combat so i'm gonna swing equip one here pay one right and then we have black black held up and then i'll attack with frog my thought monitor attack And then what I can do is here, even as a combat trick, like they're at two, I can instant speed, take the cranial plating, put it on the ornithopter block Merktide and trade it out. Yeah, okay, beauty. Yeah, we're just like way too fast. Um, I think dispatch could be pretty good, but metallic rebuke, I think, I think dispatch and metallic rebuke are what I want. I don't think haywire might is something i'm necessarily interested in ether spell bomb could actually be kind of good for the merc tide we'll see okay so i think these are the spells that i want so in general here drop a cranial a cranial plating drop a bean stock and then i think drop a thought cast right And then just removes a target that I can grab. That's the problem. I don't want to remove too much. Maybe I don't want welding jar. Yeah, maybe I don't know. Maybe I don't want welding jar. They're going to bring in. Um, yeah, I should actually check. It's been a while. Like, it's not the axis I'm used to attacking Merc Tide on. Like, what are, what are things that they have in their sideboard? I don't think they're really prepared for this. Like they could play like, yeah, like a cast in a fire. It, yeah, engineer explosives is a thing. I don't know. I, I think this is fine. Like if we just bring in, I think dispatch for key creatures, uh, just being cheap and efficient. Metallic rebuke is, I think, going to put in overtime here. Um, but I think generally that's what we're looking for. But we can definitely like if they don't have counter spells at key moments, like we can definitely um we can definitely chain a bunch of things together, which is fantastic. So this hand actually isn't that bad. Like just doesn't they mulligan. I'm going to try it. I'm going to try it. I'm drawing an extra card. Um, I'm probably going to go Dark Steel, Spring Leaf, and then go Saga, Plating, Thopter, Thopter. Or maybe I just play on my stuff now. Force them to do stuff and things. Tango Pool does make me want to change up how I play this, though. Or Tango Pool. Would I, yeah, I mean, Tango Pool and Thought Cast. I could just do it the turn after. It's not that deep. I can make them just commit resources. It's not a problem. Actually, I could thought cast right now. I could thought cast right now. Let's do that. Let <laughs> Let's do that. <laughs> what am I talking about? Wait. What, what do I just don't don't be silly. Don't be silly. Oh, don't do it to him. Oh, the frog might. All right. So next turn, we definitely go saga uh saga plating 
Saga plating drum. I don't know. Yeah, heat's fine. They're doing a lot of things. Yeah, they're trying to. Yeah, that that's smart because if I have a plating, which I do, then it's about to get wiggity wiggity whack. Shocking that stuff in. I, I'm loving all this force removal here. A lot of spells being forced out of their hand. I love this. Sure. So they have instant. They need a creature or artifact. Making a decision right now. They're going to keep it. They're going to keep it. Likely a creature because they're like threat light. And they don't want to commit. So that's fine. So we definitely have to get this plating out, I think. Yo, dispatch is actually crazy. Okay. Mm. Think I'm supposed to like play this, hold up, play this, and then hold up dispatch. I think that's what I'm supposed to do. And I could force action on their turn. Like they see the plating now and they're looking at this ornithopter. Like, what do I do? Like truly that's what they're doing. They're, they're like, what do I do about this ornithopter right now? Sure. They probably actually, that's probably what they found. They probably found that iteration. Yeah, they are, they, they are on the back burner right now. They are, they're, sorry, they are on, the brakes, they are trying to slow things down for me. Bobble, going to be hitting the yard. Um, Maybe now's the time, honestly. Tap for white. And, and just kill this thing, honestly. Just kill this thing now. Like, it's on their turn. They're tapped out. Like, I don't want them getting any bobble value. Just get that done with. Love it. Yeah, you're not going to get double bobble trigger off of me. But that should now be a 3-3 once that hits the yard. And that's fine. That's not a problem with me. They targeted who? Cast Mistress Bobble. Targeting me. Okay, yeah, so they know what I'm drawing. That's fine. Mem Knight, that's pretty good. I like I like me a Mem Knight. Um because I can cast this. Can't create a token, which is annoying. Like I have to equip, which I think is better. This thing has flying. Attacks keeps each combat if able. I think this is better. I th I think it's better I um I think it's better I attack and force the blocks. Or is it better I just create threats? It might be better that I just create threats. Um, one. Yeah, it might, it might just be net better that I create threats. Like, okay, sure, I block that. But then, like, what if they play, like, a Merc Tide or something and then they, they kind of take it back from there? I think just having a 7-7 seven, seven, next turn, having, like, a... Two eight eights is is probably just better for me in the long run. I'll take three. That's no problem because now you have to play a blocker that threatens. Like you, you have to do things by attack. You're, you're telling me that you have an answer. You have something. Okay, so you have a Merc Tide. That's fine. Yep, that's cool with me. So Saga is going to trigger. Saga is going to trigger. I'm going to get um, Welding Jar. Saga is going to trigger. I'm going to get Welding Jar. We're going to create some very good combat here. Probably just... I don't know. I don't even need to tap down Mem Knight. Because I have this coming in untapped. Ooh, and the Vault. Uh, Yeah, so let's... Create another one. Uh, 
opponent what are you gonna do at this point yeah see this is what i mean like this is the call create a creature honestly they're scared okay yield to the trigger maybe they have a counter spell maybe they don't whatever um where's my oh did i take out my welding jar i could just bounce the merc tide for lethal actually that's even better that's even better bounce that for lethal treasure um yeah, I see. Yeah, they saw the Aether spell. <laughs> All right. Yeah, a little bit of combat magic. Cranial plating, putting the fear into the Merc type player. I love that. All right. GG's, GG's.